Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and it's probably only 5.30, 5.40. And this has become something that I'm doing every night, lighting the candles, turning the lights down, it just in some rooms to make a cozy atmosphere. Just as I was getting cozy, I decided to go to Joann's and the grocery store just to pick up a few supplies and start to stock up for Thanksgiving. I was hoping to find some Halloween items at Joann's after the holiday so they you know, would be reduced. And there was a few things, but not a ton. But I did need paint and glue and I just browsed around and I found this Tim Holtz section. And a lot of this stuff um, was really nice reproductions of things that I find thrifting. Little metal stencils, black and white pictures, insects, they even had like little cloches that you could craft with. So I thought I'd share this in case you, um, you know, can't find these things when you're out thrifting or at estate sales. I thought this was a pretty nice section here and a lot to choose from as well. There was about half an aisle of Halloween things still available, 75% off. So these rolls of ribbon would have been a little bit over a dollar. So a great price. They had so many and so many different designs, lots of insects, toads, you saw the skull, um, an eye motif. And those were some of like the darker designs, we'll say. But then they had a lot of the vintage and retro inspired ones with cute jack-o'-lanterns and bats and moons. And I like to use those in my display at the end of the hallway. So again, if you're having difficulty finding the stuff thrifting, I was impressed by the selection that they had at Joann's and obviously the price right now that they're on sale. I didn't buy any though because I don't really craft with ribbons. And there was a lot of Christmas. Um, Christmas was out and about and I thought that was a really nice looking ornament there. I don't decorate really with um, sea animals but if you do I was impressed with the quality and I want to say did that price say 50% off so I think that glass whale would have been about six dollars I thought that was a good price because a glass ornament like that at anthropology would be four times that and speaking of anthropology I saw this really beautiful stocking I love that green velvet and then you can see some beads and then there was some 3D embroidery added. And this definitely had that anthropology feel. I don't know, would you call anthropology like a bohemian look? It's definitely very colorful and patterned. So this area reminded me of that. We have a glazed and bisque decorative Christmas tree. Those pieces were embroidered. I like the simplicity of that fa-la-la sign. So I thought it was great to just walk down these aisles and get some ideas as well. I didn't purchase anything, but I got ideas. And then afterwards, I went to the grocery store to stock up for Thanksgiving, and I picked up um, a variety of nuts. I'd like to do some toasted and spiced nuts. I just spied a bunch of red raspberries. I just ate one. There's three right there. Look, there's one down low. This one? Yeah. This is Spike wild. Tree. Today's Saturday and I slept until eight, which was wonderful. And then didn't get out of bed until 8.30, just scrolling on my phone. But now I am cooking three pounds of pasta. We're going to go to church and make casseroles. So I've got our aprons. I've got two pounds. This is the last. Um, and I'm going to take my son. And it's only going to take about an hour and a half. And then who knows what I'll get into. Probably grocery shopping and thrifting. <laughs> Let me see how cute you are in your apron. <laughs> Look how cute you are. What kind of it? I don't know. Our sausage is made of like a mix. So we're getting a haircut.
but we gotta wait like 40 minutes. It's going to start to get cold tonight and I have a down comforter, but we're gonna wash that tonight. And when I was pulling out another comforter, uh, cause we just keep them in bins upstairs, I found this blanket that I bought at my church yard sale and I had washed it and just tucked it away. So I think this will be perfect because it's this soft velour velvet feeling. And with the blanket that we already have, uh, layered up with it. I think it'll be great. And I don't think my husband knew I had this. So I brought it down and put it on the bed and he said, Ooh, <laughs> I think it's because it's got that velvet on the underside. So when I went to uh, Joanne's, I picked up three things. This little lip gloss, my daughter loves them, asks for them every year. And it looks like it's, yeah, it's a little snow globe with some iridescent glitter and a swan that was cute. These were also at Joann's. Those rung up about a dollar something cheaper. And I thought they would be so much fun on their presents. And when they woke up, that's what they would see. And this is the iridescent one. I also think it would be neat to turn this into a headband or you could add it to um, an ugly Christmas sweater if you do that. But I think that'd be fun as a headband. I also went to Home Goods. This is up for my son. He's very difficult to shop for, uh, but he loves Uno and he does like chocolate. So it looks like this is a game. And then after you play, you can eat the chocolate. And that was $8. My husband and I, we do not give presents to each other, but sometimes I'll pick up a few things like to put in a not really a stocking, but like a little bag for him, just so it's something to open. And he likes the scent of um, like pine tree candles, evergreen. So this is Fraser fir, $10. Yep, he likes, he'll like that scent. I like the scent. And then when it's done, there's this pretty little jar. So I'm just trying to pick up a few things when I'm out. So it's I don't know, not this overwhelming trip. Um, as I get into my art supplies to organize them better or to de-stash, I have a bag here that I can put things in. I've made myself a decaf coffee because I do need to go to bed at a decent time tonight. Candle is lit and I am ready to get some work done. This is what I'm doing while I've got Pam on in the background is I have all these little boxes filled with jewelry and I need to sort them into some type of system or organization that makes sense. Like when I want my turquoise colored things or I want my pink colored things. So in general, they're like that, but with the boxes all closed up, then I have to open every single one to figure out what's in there. At a yard sale earlier this year, I found that and that is perfect because it's clear and acrylic. So I think that's what I need to find is more of those. And I even have this divider thing that's a clear acrylic piece that I could put jewelry in there and then just find something else to put my pens and scissors and things in. I'm also pulling some things out that I'd like to put on display right now. So here's a little charm and I like that wishbone. So I wanna put that out for Thanksgiving and get it off of that little card. Um, I have this earring set and I need to find the one piece to repair it and if I can't I think it is sterling so I might put it in this little bag and um, every once in a while I'll take stuff to the jewelry store stuff that breaks on me and then I can get a couple dollars for that uh, so that's what I'm doing a lot of just little what do they call that micro organizing I have this little stack of books on this shelf under my cabinet and the image on this Probably soapbox, just reminds me of that. So I'm just gonna add that box right here on top for display. I added my new stick pin to this picture frame and then I just put my little charm through the pin. And it's just nice to get these things out of their little boxes and use them. I've got a lot going on for dinner tonight. My daughter actually has a friend over, so I'm making a little bit more than usual. I've got two pork loins in there with uh, Dijon, mustard, herbs, uh, carrots, onion, apple cider, and Chardonnay that's been in for many, many hours. And I'm making some rice pilaf. I think the kids would like that. We've got broccoli and 
some spinach and I'm also making some biscuits uh, because I got some jelly and I thought maybe they would like bread with their dinner or that this could be their dessert with some jelly and mascarpone cheese. The kids and I just got back from Trader Joe's. We were going to go because we were out of seltzer water and then I just stocked up for things for Thanksgiving and just general things around the house and they had a lot of their holiday and Christmas items out so of course we had to pick up a few. I bought potatoes and sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving and because we are having a few guests I want to have all types of things available for them. So we've got this uh, ginger brew sweetened with cane sugar and honey. And these two things are to put out with pumpkin pie, uh, peppermint pretzel slims, and an assortment of boozy little chocolate truffles imported from England. The packaging had me. Picked up a bag of nuts because I would like to make a little cocktail nut mix. They had their honey crisp apple cider and a while back I said if they had it again this year I was going to buy eight bottles. So I got four totally to stock up also for Thanksgiving and when I go back I'm going to get more. I also purchased these for the first time. Uh, they might have been new. Steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings. These are amazing. Um, two minutes in the microwave and my daughter took two and after she ate two she kept saying how good they were so she had the other four. And um, this summer we got these chicken cilantro mini wontons. I think we like these even better. So I need to go back in a day or two to get more of those. Um, so this is the chicken cilantro ones. I just bought some bone broth and I'm just making a quick little soup for the kids. And I picked up two oranges. I'd like to slice those and dry them with the uh, kids tonight so we can decorate with them. I picked this up at Trader Joe's as well. There is a sparkling cranberry ginger beer and a sparkling pomegranate punch. I don't know if they had that last year or not, but I think I'll pick those up as well because I would like to have options for our guests. I do think I picked up something like that but maybe they like switched up the flavors. Oh, and I got something for my coworker. And it's gluten free. And I thought he would like that. They had these as a sample and the texture was wonderful. The ginger was nice and spicy. And they were gluten free. So I picked those up and I think that'll be a nice little treat at work for um, people who need to be gluten free. And I will say this, I would have had no clue that they were gluten-free until somebody said something. So this is interesting. I like how it's illustrated too. It's got ideas or uh, lists of things to have on hand and to buy. Garlands. Let's see, a green bean casserole recipe. How long to cook your turkey. A shopping list. Talks about cheese and wine. And uh, there's even a doo -doo, where is it? Crossword puzzle. That is fun. This is about those gluten free triple ginger muffins. And let's see. Stuffing seasoned kettle chips. I picked those up before, but I did not see them. I would have picked them up um, for Thanksgiving, so I'll look for those. And it even says to dip it into cranberry sauce. That's a, an interesting suggestion there. I currently have my sewing machine out. You can see my fancy get up. I just sew on top of my bed. <laughs> and I am hemming these pants. I picked these up at the hospital sale. And I just have some free time now, so I think I'll wear them to work tomorrow. And they needed to be hemmed, so I did this side, and now to hopefully get the same length on that side. I think that'll be it for the video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.